good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Soul Reaver. Now we're actually approaching the end of the game. In the furthermost canyon of Nosgoth's frozen wastes, the hushed silences embrace an ancient enigma. In the bowels of this labyrinth, your master awaits. Yep, as uh, as uh, as the Elder God just said, we are very much approaching the end of the game here. Now we're heading towards uh, the last kind of dungeon of the game. Uh, I don't remember, I really don't know much about it. I just know that it might be long, and I know that it alludes to a lot of cut content that somehow they tied back into the game at a later time. So. It's going to be really interesting to see how that's all came about over time. Is this guy going to follow me? There we are. Constrict is a pain in the ass to trigger. Constrict is an ability that you can use to um, do that, basically. It allows you to trigger elements in the world using the Reaver, but it triggers automatically. It only ever happens when you run around in circles basically and sometimes it happens when you're literally just in hell it literally happens sometimes when you're just running about as well it's a really weird sensitive attack wow i have the worst aim But this is a cr this is a crazy lore area for uh, for Blood Omen fans. This is like the holy grail of lore and Easter eggs. This took me a while to figure out. I I do remember this area because you remember areas that you're stuck in for a long time. And this crack in the wall, it opens up in the spectral realm, but it's not immediately obvious that that's what you're supposed to do. I guess at this point in the game, maybe you should have figured it out, but still, it's it feels pretty vague. Ah, right. gates and stuff hmm okay yeah this is a puzzle area I don't really remember how to do it as I said Is it worth me getting this? I think it might be worth. Wow, that was a lot of health. There's no way that's going to resurrect all that health, this soul. Yeah. Oh, well, it's worth it for the spear. Right, so there's these icons here. And then there's this one here. Am I supposed to just move them from over there to here? Ah, well, there isn't a zero and a Z. Oh, okay. Sneaky. Oopsie. Right, so that'll be one of the that'll be one of the gates opened, or it's it's half the solution. Oh, so that's the door to the other side. I should have seen where the spectral uh, doors were. Well, this will open this way, so I can get back to the main area. Um, what I might do, oh shit, I don't have the reaver. 
Right, I'll have to get the Reaver back. Come on, come on, come on. There we are. Wow, nice glitch. <laughs> that Raziel just squatted into the material realm. Gotta get them games, yo. Right, so that'll open up. Right, I hope to God there's a there's a portal here. There probably isn't. <gasps> there is a portal. I think I've actually cracked this first time. Wait, there's no cubes here. Right. Okay, that changes things. Sounds like something's singing. Hmm. I'm just thinking, is that door open? Oh, but it won't be when I... Uh, Actually, no, no, it would. It would. Let's see if there's a portal in here. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, there's a portal on both sides of the room. So it's not... Shouldn't be too challenging. Right, what we'll do then is we'll move this cube. Wait, no, that wouldn't work. No, 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 keep the sides open. Because I can still reach all sides of the room. Because what I'll do is I'll I'll bring this one out. Close these this side, but the middle parts are open. Uh, if I move this cube into this area, it'll open the other gate, I think. I think that's how that works. Oh wait, but how do I get to the scent? Oh no, but the sides are open, so it should be okay. Yeah, because I'm at full health, the sides are open. I'll be able to get into the material realm from here, drop down, lift the cube in. Because that cube over there in the Z area in the other area, we'll be fine. It's fine as is, I think. The only thing left to do is push this in here. Go, go in the spirit realm, go all the way around the other side of the room. Materialize on the other side of the room, put the block into the other, the O uh, area, the O hole, weird. And then from there, we can open the main door. Yeah, it's gonna close that gate, but even then, We've got access to the middle part, which means we can open up the center gate again. It's not too much of a concern. Yeah, that's the center piece open. Oh, it opened all the gates. Oh, I was actually going to go back up to the center there and do all that. But all right, whatever. No complaints here. Oh wait, should I get my spear back? Where'd my spear go? Oh, of course, that gate's still closed. All right, whatever. Oh dear. Yeah. 
you don't need to wait i went to it this way i'm assuming this is something that can be turned Ah, right. It's just magic. I don't really care for that. I don't know if that's something that needs to be turned over this way. I don't. I don't see a door. Oh, please have a portal on the other side. Oh, a wraith. Well, lucky me. You guys are having a party over here without me. It looks like a wall you can climb. Is this a wall? No! Okay. I thought I had heard a portal. Nah, no portals. Okay, well I can see what I'm supposed to do here, obviously. The question is, how do I get back into the material realm? I can try dropping down, but... Do I want to? I don't know where that is. Well, there's nowhere else I can go. Oh, I'm back here. Okay, well, I have to go back to the port. I'm just going to open up the main, open up the main gate again because it just makes life a bit easier. Because now I have access to the the main side. I don't really I have access to the sides and the main room. I don't really need. Uh, Anything else? I don't think. So how do I do this then? Let's turn this around a couple times. I feel like construct has been made easier. Maybe this has opened that gate. Or not. It's constricted literally just for that one door that I've now opened. Yeah, I feel like constrict has either been made easier or it's broken because of the emulator. But it's it seems easier in Dreamcast. I remember it being quite a pain to work in the PlayStation. I haven't really played it on PC to be fair. So is that a wall I'm supposed to claim? It does look like it, doesn't it? Alright, let's head back. Maybe there is something here that I missed. I'm pretty sure I already ate you. Right, can't get up there. Oh, I did miss something. I think I was too busy running from that one wraith. Whoa. Okay, the shift in that changed a lot. Right, I'm not even going to bother with that next room because I know I'm supposed to climb up here. Oh, maybe I'm not supposed to climb up here. This is just for the Fire Reaver. If you if you never got the Fire Reaver slash didn't know it existed in this game, you must be wondering why there are just these random paths that lead to like campfires. I'm expecting a Turlin to like jump out at me at some point because that's what they do all the time. Now you may notice that we have no real means of pushing them in. That's because we gained telekinesis earlier on in the game. <laughs> There's a Turlin. Are you going to spit at me? Yep. Burn. Okay, so there's another crack you can get through. I 
I think if they're burned, they don't come back. It doesn't look like it. Let's have them point at each other. Oh wait, does that make sense? Do I want that? Oh, this is at like an angle. Yeah, let's have them all point in. That makes the most sense to me anyway. And then if I turn it this way. Oh, cool, I was right. Yeah, have them all point inwards. And now, if we go through, oh, we've lost a fire reaver again. Oh, there's not even a thing for here. God dang it. Okay, I did actually miss where that door was. Uh, I'm gonna jump cut to when I find the door. That must be, oh no, that must be the door there. Oh my God. This guy like almost killed me in two hits. I suppose I've not had any alpha upgrades the whole game. Oh no, we've already been this way. Ah, right. Okay, here's the door. I tried to throw my thing. Oh my god. I can see the cool thing in the background, like, freaking out. Yeah, okay, this is the door. And this leads into a cutscene, I believe. The Oracle's Cave where Cain's first fateful meeting with Mobius occurred. Mobius played the role of a doddering soothsayer, stirring his pot of visions while dispensing enigmatic predictions to gullible visitors. Underneath the facade was Mobius the Time Streamer, sorcerer of the Circle of Nine, a ruthless manipulator with the power to bend time. Since his murder at Cain's hand centuries ago, these caves have stood vacant, Though, like Mobius himself, they are rumored to be only a facade for a much larger, more elaborate complex. I sensed that Cain was here, and at that moment, I would have plumbed the depths of hell to find him. I do love that it's kind of like narrated. Okay, we'll construct works out the Reaver. So this is an area from the original Blood Omen. 
Um, we're actually very, very close to the end, I believe. This is a time streaming device, as they call it, a time travel device that was in 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 control by Mobius, and Kane used it in the first Blood Omen game to travel back in time. And there's a big old statue of Mobius. This, I deduced, must be the man himself, the time streamer, Mobius. He seemed not at all the impressive figure I had imagined from Kane's boasted exploits. And yet, even this cold image radiated a certain undeniable power. All right, I don't remember this part. I was under the impression that you, um... Oh. I was under the impression that you literally, like, just go straight down into the fight, but... I'm obviously wrong. There's also a bit more of a puzzle here than... I vaguely remember. What the hell is this? All right, so I have to use constrict. Oh, or not. Oh, well, you want this to turn around to be blue, right? That's an easy one. You want this one to turn around to be red. This is it blue and red that means purple? Oh, it must be. Okay. So I just have to turn the light around every time? Whoa, alpha effects. I'm noticed that is the time. Whenever the emulator, emulator slows down, it's because there's like particle effects on the screen. And they're very close to the camera as well. But that's fine. We don't have much left. We've uh, now opened up a second area. I don't imagine there'd be too many enemies kicking about because... Well, this was a locked chamber. Yeah, this guy's been dead for a while. Yo, look at this. I don't remember this at all. Very almost died there. <laughs> I guess it's not really death because you would just go to spirit realm, but still. I might actually just go to spirit realm. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy's like, what the hell? Oh, I just realized I came to the spirit realm with no health. I did not know that was a thing. I thought when you go to the spirit realm, you gain like a certain amount of health back, but... Oh. Right, so the red one will be the first. Is it three doors? Is that what it's about? Yeah, okay. I see how you're supposed to do this. Oh shit. I went too far. And then 
move this over once or twice. There we are. That's a weird puzzle. That's a really weird puzzle. Whoa, and that camera angle. Okay, now down to the next level. Whoa, jeez, so. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Literally just put him straight on the thing. Uh, but what's down there? Ah, uh, just a way to get back up in case you fall. This is a big puzzle room. Having the best of times. It's obviously just because I don't have a lot of health, which is immediately the the first problem that you have here. Uh, I wonder if that's supposed to be like pulled down or something. Hmm. Constrict doesn't that wide. It has to be quite a small thing. But there is like a little area over here. I'll never reach it though. There we are. This could just be a quick way back up though. Just judging by the looks of it. Yeah, great, but I don't have any health. Don't know why it wasn't leaving this one up. Yep, Raziel's immune to corners or ledges. Sorry. Has that been raised higher? I think it might have been raised slightly higher. That's just cheeky. Basically like, nope, where you can't have you going up there. Or maybe I just did it by fluke the first time and I can't do it again. How the hell did I do that first time? Wait, is that a spike on the wall? Oh, no, it's not. Wait, I, I did do that. I've got video footage of me doing this jump. I've, I've definitely done this jump. Don't know how. Maybe I need to be quicker on the, uh, on the glide. How the fu- how, how the- how- how? How? How did I do this? Somebody tell me. I'm guessing I just got lucky that first time now. <laughs> Maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this. I can't even get back out, I don't think. No. <gasps> what? The camera angle kind of just gave me a clue there. Oh, I must have done that by complete fluke. It must have been a glitch the first time that I did that. And now you can easily glide over, yeah. That was a complete fluke. I wonder how I did that first time. Well, speedrunner stats, even though this isn't where you're supposed to go. Hmm. 
I'm guessing this is either to a secret or back over to a secret. Yeah, no one cares about magic in this game. Come on. 